just wanted to jump on here really quick and say that there's this question that I get asked a lot and there's this question that I see out there when talking about Microsoft 365 and the difference between SharePoint and Teams. And do I need a Teams if I have a SharePoint and do I need a SharePoint if I have a Teams? And some people think that they're the same thing and they are absolutely not. So here are my two cents about SharePoint and Teams when it comes to working for lawyers. So the difference between SharePoint and Teams is the fact that with SharePoint, you get a dedicated email address. If you were to go into Microsoft 365 and simply open up a team in Teams, then you wouldn't get a dedicated email address. Now you're probably saying, this is okay, I don't need a dedicated email address. But for those of you who have used the Microsoft 365 case management system, you know exactly why you need that dedicated email address and a lot of people who just use teams as a standalone it works well for a little while and you're still able to manage all your files and conversate with your team and it works as a messaging and video conferencing platform however in this digital world we still need a way of simplifying our document management and the management of the file attachments to all of the emails that we get the voluminous emails and all of those attachments i mean it is really hard to manage that in a digital space now a lot of you are used to using your outlook application you get an email and you convert it to pdf and you migrate to somewhere on your network and you save it and then you save the attachment as well you go to download it you go migrate somewhere on your network and you go to save it and that's actually a lot of clicks. And if you really boil down your time management and really track what it is that's taking you a while, that's actually consuming a lot of your time and I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. There's ways to stream like that in the Microsoft 365 system, but you have to use SharePoint to do it. You lose the ability to do that when you just use Teams alone. Now I'm not saying that Teams isn't awesome. Teams is awesome, but you can use it with SharePoint and it still be awesome. Your conversations are still taken out of the clutter of your inbox and sorted into a conversation that's very organized. It's part of your team, it's part of your SharePoint, it's part of your searchable database as a whole. For those of you that didn't know that, your entire database is searchable. Even if you haven't OCR'd something for text recognition before it hit the system, the moment that it did, it became searchable. Again, you need to use SharePoint to have the advantage of using that. So if you have any more questions about the difference between SharePoint and Teams, now I just gave you a tidbit about the difference, but the major ones, that's it. The dedicated email address versus not having a dedicated email address. The dedicated email address allows us to manage our emails and those file attachments in a very digital space by one click of a button, not multiple clicks of a button. And if you want to see a demo or something more about that, then I've got a video right here. And of course, you can reach out to me on my website. I've got a chat. I've got an email. I'm available. It may take me a couple days because I'm really, really busy these days but i'm here i'm here to help my legal community i'm in a position to do it i want to do it i want to give back to you i want you to thrive okay thank you so much for joining me today good luck to you and all that you do thank you Mwah. bye bye